Okay, here is a beautiful 2-5-1 lick from Mike Stern. He's doing this over Stella by Starlight, the final 2-5-1, which is why the 2 chord is minor 7 flat 5 as opposed to just regular minor 7. And we start out on the flat 5 of the chord, so pointer finger is going to be on G flat on the 2nd string, and we go like this, G flat with our pointer, pinky on B flat, middle finger on A flat, pointer back on G flat, and you slide it down a fret to F, so it's... I pick the first uh, the first four notes and then I slide down. So if we look at those first couple notes, it's all right out of uh, you know C low green. He does the flat five, the flat seven, flat six, flat five. You slide down a fret to the uh, four. Now right here, um, he's thinking the altered scale, the F altered scale, he's, he's anticipating it. So he's still playing over the C minor seven flat five chord, but he starts doing this pattern going down the F altered scale. So we go, once we get to this point, this F note right here, we go right down the uh, F altered scale. So pointer finger does F, this is after the slide, and then the ring finger plays uh, E flat on the third string, pull off to D flat with your pointer, and then pinky plays B on the string below that, and then uh, middle finger picks A. And by the way, the video that I saw this on, it looks like he's actually picking the majority of the notes, but just in terms of how I like to articulate things, this worked for me. So feel free to pick all of the notes if you want, you know, experiment with different picking patterns. All right, so at that point, like I said, it's the F altered scale, right? We play the root, flat seven, sh sharp five, uh, sharp 11, and then the uh, major third. And then from here, we go up to back to, after we hit that A note with our middle finger, we go back to the D flat with our pointer, and then pinky plays B, middle finger on A again, pull off to A flat. So. And then finish it off by going down the rest of the altered scale. So after that A flat, our pinky plays G flat on the fifth string, pick the ring finger on F, pointer finger does E flat, and then you slide down a fret to D. So once we hit that D note, that's the resolution to the B flat major. So he resolves to the third of the B flat major chord. So, all right, so we talked about um, um, up to there, and now right here intervallically when we do this part, it's the flat nine, the root, flat at seventh, and then you slide down a fret, and you get the third of the B flat major chord. So that right there is a great example of guide tones. If you're familiar with guide tones, you've probably heard people say uh, thirds and sevenths of the chords are typically the guide tones, and you can see that right here at the end of this line, the very last note of the F7 chord, he plays E flat, which is the flatted seventh, right? And then we move it down a half step, and it becomes the third of the B flat major chord. So that's a big part of what guide tones are. There are just these little spots where you can do these half step movements and really outline the sound moving from one chord to the next. So you can see that at the end of this line, how he goes from the E flat down to the D, right? Right, gives us that half step resolution. Okay, so that's everything for the two and the five chord. Once we get to the one chord now, like I said, he starts on D, he resolves to the third of the B flat major chord. And then right here he does this little pivot line. So pivoting means that you keep going back to one note. You might play some notes in between, but everything keeps uh, coming back to a specific note, which is what he does here. He keeps going back to this F note. So you play D with your pointer, then your pinky goes on F, and then put your pinky on C on the sixth string, then go back to F again, then your middle finger plays B flat on the sixth string, and then go back to F again, and then pointer plays A. All right, so. Intervallically, it's right, third, fifth, second, fifth, root, fifth, and then seventh. Um, so he's going right down, going right down the scale, but he's adding the F in between each note. And then he lands on the A note, which is our major seven. It's a really pretty sound. Um, so the entire thing would be this. So 
a lot of great stuff going on in there. We have those couple of notes out of the Locrian scale over the two chord, and then he starts thinking uh, the altered scale over the five chord early. He's anticipating it, still thinking of it over the C minor seven flat five chord. And then when we resolve, we like I said, we have those guide tone resolutions from the flat at seventh of the five chord down a half step to the third of the one chord. And then he does this really pretty pivot line where he keeps going back to the fifth of the one chord. So a lot of great stuff going on in this one. Um, and that is it. That is our lick for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And as always, if you would like to donate and support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash Music or paypal.me slash Music. Thank you for watching and I will see you at the next episode. Take care.